Yo, back for some more New World. Uh, did the review today, and uh, I put that on the YouTubes. So if you want to check that out, go ahead. Um, it's obviously just from what I've experienced so far in the beta. So I uh, am planning to do an end game review eventually when the actual game comes out. I, I know that I'm not going to get that far in this game. I'm mainly trying to test out a lot of different stuff uh i just want to get to level 20 today hopefully and then uh, i'm still gonna run around and probably do some crafting mess around with some some of the new like different weapons because there really isn't a whole lot of options honestly you know i've been tinkering around with everything except for hatchet the only reason why i haven't touched hatchet at all is because i heard that it was really overpowered during the alpha so i was just like eh, i don't want to play overpowered shit i want to play all the gimp things so I've been messing around with life staff. I've been messing around with the ice gauntlet, which isn't bad. Ice gauntlet is pretty good. And uh, fire staff, uh, I'm not really feeling it. Mainly because the mana cost is really high on a lot of the abilities. So like, let's say that fire thing, for example, you threw the, the flamethrower. Get it. Like you'll run out of mana and then you can't do shit. But just like sit there and watch the mob kill you. you know, so it's, it's kind of lame. I'm really hoping that they fix, you know, some of these things. Uh, I did mention all this in my review also. How um, there's like these really heavy mana cost on these abilities. And then like on top of that, your regular light and heavy attacks cost mana. So it's like, what the hell, man? You know, with life, with the life staff, at least you don't have to worry about that shit. Because you got this right here. It says life, life, uh, life staff, light and heavy attacks don't cost mana. So this already fixes the problem immediately. But you don't have anything like that on the fire staff. I've been looking around. I didn't see anything that says, oh, well, you know, no mana costs or very low or something. There's, there's stuff that says that it will give you a little bit of mana back, but not enough. It's not enough for you to go, like, you know, willy-nilly throwing freaking fireballs all over the place. You know what I mean? So I definitely want to test it out more and see if there's a build I can do to kind of fix that problem. I, I will be messing around with that today. You get the the chat open make sure everything's working and they start monologuing and get it and I'm even checking to see if the stream is working and boom it's not working at all and my microphone doesn't work. <laughs> all that shit <clears throat> all right it looks like everything's fine oh game okay <clears throat> we just pull up the chat here The music in this area is like very Witcher. They have that, you know, remember, remember the Witcher baby, the like the that little violin. It is like a very dramatic violin, like the. Well, that's what's happening right now with the music in this area. <clears throat> oh, the bangers of uh, Dragon Age. Yeah, the music is pretty good in that game. I think. This is why I like Fire uh, Life Staff. It does so much damage. I wasn't expecting it to be this good. Look at that shit. Beastly. Get over here, turkey. Skin his ass. Well, I gotta eat it. We gotta eat. <laughs> Actually, you can't eat plants. I, I haven't seen any plants in this game yet. Like, you know, like a vegan. I don't know if there's a vegan build. I'm gonna have to check. See if I could make like a... Make a vegan a build in this game. Hey, what's going on, Surge? How you doing? Back to New World. Hell yeah. Day. Are, are you planning to get this game too, Surge? Uh, Predator stuff. I'm, I've pretty much given up on these type of quests that say skin stuff. Because there's always like 700,000 people standing around waiting for the mob to show up. So like it'll be like a random deer and they're like, oh deer! And then like 700 people are running for the deer. They're like, <clears throat> I've given up on those quests because it just takes way too long to do. It's just not worth it.
I'm really glad that, uh, you know, I just logged in. I didn't have to worry about a queue time. It was, like, perfect. Maybe there's not as much people playing. But I, I know they said something about trying to optimize the servers and make it so that it fits more people. I don't know if they probably did that during their maintenance. Probably not. The PC isn't good enough. Ah. Um, I'm sure that you don't need a crazy GPU for this game. I, you know, I actually heard a lot of a lot of stuff apparently about um, there we go. Um, apparently, um, GPUs have been frying on people with this game, and uh, Amazon is aware of it. So that's pretty interesting to hear, and. It's actually like the 3090s and stuff like that that are having a difficult time. I I don't know exactly like the full details behind it, but that's got to be real shitty if a 3090 explodes on you while you're playing. So, okay, we're not going to do that. I'm going to go over here to this. Skin them for premium hide. Another freaking skinning one? Seriously? Bisons? Shit, why does every quest want me to skin something? I've only ever found one elk out here. I'm two seconds away from just dropping that quest. I'm like, pretty much just drop any quest that makes me skin anything. 19. Those mobs are really high, so I don't know if I could do that. This one want me to do. Tree the castle cool. Okay, that looks like a normal quest. Let's we'll do that one. Gotta run seven hundred miles in this direction. Oh and I got a fishing rod. I was fishing earlier today, it was pretty cool. They got some weird bug though where the like the little um the floater thing, I don't know what they call that. It's like the little bobby, the bobble thing that stays over the water to keep the hook up. It um, gets stuck on the water and you'll have like 10,000 of those things that are just kind of floating there, depending on how long you actually uh, fish for. Pretty funny. I went back to using, um, what's it called? The rapier, because I got this piece of gear that said that uh, one of my attacks give me health back for hitting them, and it works pretty well. So um, I wanted to keep playing around with it, but I'm kind of biased towards life staff. I really love the self healing of, of it. Let's try to kill this alligator. Oh, this is gonna be epic. Ooh. Okay, all right. All right, hold on. Easy. Wasn't that bad. <clears throat> the big ass alligator, though, that's just kind of scary. Imagine this in VR. I'm <laughs> playing first person view. Oh, I got an achievement for that. Dimona? Dimona's. Right way. Yeah, okay. I still got to keep an eye out for. Like deer, skin deer, and I also need pumas if I ever run across any. Is that a puma right there? Oh, that's a great wolf. Yeah, 
There we go. Bam. <clears throat> sure, I'll skin it. Why not? Uh, there's something screaming. In. Puma. The heal. Cast time sometimes. Damn. I think. I think this counts. I'm not sure. But I, actually, I think I need to be in a, the, the area that it wants me to be. Yeah, I have to be in the area that wants me to be. <clears throat> oh, hi. Ah, oh, come on, I pressed dodge. Bet I don't have that quest in this area because plenty of Puma here. I, I don't like how specific some of these quests are, uh, like being in a certain area, because then everybody and their mom is trying to get that. And I wish that kill XP was a little bit better, honestly, so I could just grind. I kind of miss Black Dez Online, it's just grinding. We you can get to 60 in like literally 30 seconds <laughs> in that game. If you know how to just follow... Um, Follow the levels. Do you fight things that are like five plus your level and forget it? Like you level up super fast. It doesn't work like that in this game. Like the XP is extremely low in this game. It kind of reminds me of uh, a Dragon Age Inquisition trying to grind in there. Like 10 XP here, 20 XP there. Garbage. Do you see this game being a long-term success? I think so. I can see it. Yeah, I think it will be. Especially when they start updating it, they start expanding it and all that. I could see this being a huge game. Like, it's already pretty good. Like, I already feel like content-wise, it's, it's nice. I just feel like, um, like I was saying before, I wish that, like mobs give more XP. I doubt that they will ever like increase it, but be a nice thought. I would just like more more ways to grind. Like if I didn't like a, like a sandbox. Like I want it to be more sandboxy, where I can literally do anything I want and not follow the main quest line. Like like I kind of like what I did in Black Desert. Like just completely like ignore everything and do whatever the hell I want. I, I really prefer that. Oh. See how much damage the life staff does? Sometimes I feel like changing to the rapier is like a waste of time. I'm trying to practice weapons and stuff. Repair is kind of kind of weird to use. Heal myself to fall. My healing is like really good now. Excellent. 
I don't even need food anymore. That's why I'm really liking Life Staff a lot. I can see like different ways to play this now. Where you can like literally make a an awesome tank build. Oh no. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, I'll take it. Especially like sitting in the circle like this, getting all this healing. There's another skill that also does an AoE heal that I haven't got yet. Yet eventually. I also just figured out that... Um, what's it called? If you use two different weapons at the same time, it, it, it divides the XP. I didn't realize that. So like if I stay only on rapier and kill the mob, I'll get more XP. Hit me. See, I got 24 XP for that. Instead of only, it was like 7 before or something. Oh, I just got a... Ow. Alright, watch this. Heals. Change over. Okay. I'm trying to like learn how to do weapon swapping. I'm really bad at it. <sighs> Guy's called uh Demon Kim. Oh yeah, I um I follow him. Yeah, you know, I <laughs> I was explaining before, like I unfollowed him because I didn't um, I didn't like that he was he was popping up on my feed all the time when he was doing Genshin, you know. <laughs> so uh, I got tired of it because I was like, "Fuck Genshin, I don't want to watch it anymore." So I unfollowed him, <laughs> and uh, when he started playing New World, I refollowed him back. It's like unpersonal demon, but uh. I just needed to get away from the crack cocaine, you know what I mean? Gotch. <clears throat> that bleed, I, I gotta see how that works. Because I don't think it does a whole lot of damage, it's just the damage over time that really does most. Okay, I just leveled it up. Let me go oh, flourish and finish. Let's try it out. This Grace one, I don't really care for. Stamina on you. Okay. See, all these passive is what really makes the makes it stronger. Individual attacks reduce the cooldown of ability. Oh, initial successful light attack. What the hell does that mean? You, the first one? Dang. I'll have to see what that's about. But let me go with this moment. Uh, unswap out. And I'll probably respec just to kind of fix what this does. Okay. What kind of damage does it do? What does it do, actually? Okay, flourish. Uh, okay, knocking back enemies. Press light attack at the end of a flourish. Will continue this ability by automatically performing... Lunges forward, consume all rapier bleed on any... Ooh. It deals it instantly. Okay, we gotta see this. That sounds awesome. I, I think there was something like that in... Um, that other game I was playing. There was another game I was playing that had something similar. Oh, god damn it. Hey, double rape here. I gotta, uh, I'm gonna start reading all these things when the game goes live. I don't really care about reading it right now. Oh, oh shit, okay. I wasn't expecting him to do all that shit. Anything else? Oh, here we go. Got a huge update. 
The new region, but no resin. <laughs> yeah, so the, everybody's gonna run around in that new region for like two more minutes than usual. I just think it's pretty silly. Really silly. I like that double attack. It's so nice. Running for him. Hey. I love that pop sound. Okay. <laughs> that works. <laughs> kind of blew that. Alright. Oh. It's like the mob win AFK. Setting. Alright, I wanna see how this works. Ooh. Oh, that was cool. Badass. Rapier is pretty cool. I could see like potential with this, especially the bleeding. Oh, we got a double rapier. Nice. I really love the combat in this game. I can't get over how good this is. I don't know if, like, shooting him in the head actually does more damage. I don't think it does. No, it doesn't. Ah. Uh. Ooh, there it is. Oh, the combo. Oh, that's sick. Oh, I like that. Level 16. This is my new Genshin Impact game. Combat is so enjoyable. Hey man, I didn't mean to do that. Nemo! I love the combos. I, I think I like this now. So Q and F, they really work well together. Because it does like the burst of all the bleeding at once. So I think I'm going to make a quick little build. This is already like the most interesting weapon i so far. So bleed and flourish together. Flurry, I'm not really too much a fan of. But I see that it does the healing, so I want to see if there's something else I could do to, like... Okay, the last hit of all the enemy dagger... Extends the bleeding. I, I think I'd rather just... Right with the... 
Foes enter a defensive stance for one second. Okay, this sounds very Fantasy Star Online. If struck during this ability, the counter will attack the stun. Okay, okay, I think this is going to be good. And then, oh, isn't that the one that lets you teleport through him? Moving forward 10 meters, stabbing motion. That looks like a nice ability too. Let's respect. Go with the bleeding. And stamina. Deal 10% more damage when your stamina is below 4. Okay. Sounds very particular. I don't know if I like that. So cooldowns by 1% on any hit. Oh. Yes, please. And I think I think we'll do this stamina one. Just because I want to get to the next line. Oh, did it not work like that? Damn. Is it because I need to put a point in that, in the evade? Oh no, never mind. Gotta get points in both of those. Okay, I have to put two points before I can get next line. Right? I don't know. Whatever. We'll figure it out. So, I got the two abilities. Those two abilities are more important, honestly. Max level, it's apparently 60, I think. Which is kind of weird, because I'm already 16, and, and look at the attribute points. I just literally got the focus first point thing. So, and it's only because I have a lot of gear that put me up to that point. So, kind of weird the way they have this. Scales with dexterity and intelligence, the rapier. I think we're going to go get some crit. Crit chance by 5%. Do some dexterity. I'm going to make a crit build. I don't know if uh, healing can crit. Gotta see if that's a thing. Alright, where are we? I just passed where I was supposed to go. The hell was oh, the tree. It's like cracking and shit, but it's not even falling. I love the sound effects. Like, it's so amazing. Only every game had sound effects like this. Right way. Thanks. Yeah. Glad we can jump off of cliffs and not really give a shit. Look at this. Eee. You don't even take that much damage. I need to heal. <laughs> Oh, come back. missed again. Ah, I was hoping to make that work, but didn't. I'm a gate, hold on. I ate some, uh, Throwing in cheese, it's kind of an overload. I wasn't really good today. Anyway. I have some bait. I think I'm going to fish for a little bit. Go sidetracking instead of leveling. You guys fishing. Let's fish for a little bit. 
Did I equip my bait? Oh, I don't have any bait? I thought I had bait. I gotta gather some stuff. Oh, there goes some bait. Got some. I don't know if there's like different, like the different types of baits catch different types of fish. I'm assuming. Kind of like the way it is in Final Fantasy 14. I think every time it makes that sound is when I get a bait. I should have more than enough bait. Oh yeah, I got nine baits. Chilling. Uh, how long until I hit 20? Uh, pfft, I have no idea. Probably not even going to hit it, honestly. <laughs> I'm going to try. But XP has been really, really slow. Every quest I do doesn't seem to even make much of a dent. But it could be because the way I'm doing it is not good enough. I don't know. Maybe I'm not doing, not leveling right. Hey, I got a little baby fish. All bass. Like, uh, my fiance's most hated fish in the world when she was playing Animal Crossing. I need to catch how many? Like, I was, I, was, I had a quest that I was supposed to catch something. Oh wait, am I using bait? I just realized that I, I don't think I'm using bait. That sound effect of the, the wheel spinning is kind of crazy. Sounds like a... Like a creature yelling. <laughs> Look at the animation of the water up. Okay, that's very weird. Oh, you don't need bait. Oh shit. Okay. So you don't need bait to fish. And look, it's giving me bait just from doing the raw fishing. Gives a medium boost a chance to catch better fish in salt water. Gives a large boost a chance to catching better fish. The chance goes up. Okay, so you can still fish without bait. That's pretty cool. Increasing your, your chance to get a good one. That's good. I'm glad they did that. Final Fantasy XIV, you needed, like, an actual type of bait for each type of fish, so it was kind of annoying. I had to go on Google, like, searching for certain types of baits, where to get them, because it was a pain in the ass to find them, too. What was that? See, that one, I did a max one. I'm not really sure if that's any different than the... Like if it's gonna if that's gonna increase my chance or something, I'm not really sure what that does if I get max on the the cast. Regular small bass again. Turning him to Animal Crossing. Bait on. Well pretty much with the baits you can just walk around um gathering like all these bushes and stuff. You see like those over there, those briars, and then there's also like the the bushes and stuff, the ones that are literally called bush. And uh, that drops a bunch of different types of stuff. It's actually like, I think it's usually like that beetle name of it. Come on. Being stubborn, so it's probably a big fish. Oh, yeah. Medium bass. A little bit bigger. Let me see what happens if I fail the cast. Like if I pull it in and then I just don't press anything. I'm just curious about that. Okay, like right here, they're pulling. Now I'm just gonna let it go right here and not press nothing. Oh, the fish just starts pulling it. Okay. 
at least it gives you some time to kind of recover like if case in case you want to like scratch your ass while you're fishing <laughs> you know like if you want to take a quick little break i think you can kind of do this afk i'm trying to listen to the sound effects to see like if it's giving any cues when when it it makes this real sound when it's about to catch then i press left click but after that see that sound effect i don't know if it gets loud when i'm getting too far out what happens or oh, breaks the line yeah it doesn't make any sound effects for that so you you can't just watch netflix do this you have to actually kind of pay attention at least with the reeling part Pre-ordered a Steam Deck. No, I didn't do it. So I already missed out. I was hoping to just buy it like a normal human being, but I guess I guess we're at that point where we have to pre-order every single thing we buy now. Medium sound. Oh, that's what I need. I need the salmon for my quest. Get in my pocket. It works. You see how the bobs are like in the water right now there's like five of them in the water that's it's like some weird bug and then also like the water that gets stuck on the fish is another weird bug i'm over here pointing at it as if you could see me <laughs> i forgot i don't have a webcam on ah this one probably another salmon Oh, medium perch. Yeah, they, they, they definitely need to fix those weird visual bugs. Fishing, but fishing seems pretty cool so far. It's actually kind of fun. And get ready, go! Pretty much this is super easy. You just hold down left click, press it when it's time to reel, and that's it. Let go of the... Let go of your left click when you just want to in the line. All bass again. On Animal Crossing, though. I need to catch, I think, what, like eight of them? The salmons? My quest. It gives a lot of XP, so. Be a nice quest. It's too bad you don't get actual, like, normal combat XP. It only goes towards your profession. Small perch again? Really? All that headache for a small perch? I would have thought it would be like a giant shark or some shit. Max. Alright, let's see if this is... your thoughts on uh, ban on majest majestic oh I, I don't know anything wrong with that hold on i'll read what you said gotta pay attention to this now oh i caught a small surgeon okay see it was gonna play a cutscene, but um i accidentally okay so that was like a rare he was a Genshin streamer that disclosed non-disclosure agreement. Oh, my game crashed. Uh oh. Uh oh. My game crashed. This is the first time it's ever crashed. Crashing. Why are you so crashy? Well, this encountered a fatal error. Sorry for the inconvenience. The report. What a surge. <laughs> so he disclosed a non disclosure agreement. Okay. Got perma ban. Well, I mean, that's his fault. Talking about leaks are open on the internet. NDA from a... Um, 
honestly, like when it comes to that, you you really shouldn't have opened his mouth. If he knew that that was some like, you know, leaks and stuff like that, he he shouldn't have shared it. Especially as a content creator, got a lot of eyes on you, you know. So all you're doing is just leaking out the leaks. You know what I mean? <laughs> like you're you're not supposed to talk about that shit ever. Even playing a leaked game is is pretty bad. Oh my god, really? First time I've seen a Q tonight. Doesn't look too bad, but that sucks. He got three copyright strikes? What, on his YouTube channel for that? Oh shit. That's insane. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I don't like that. He really would, shouldn't have talked about it in the first place, honestly. If he knew that that was a, a bad thing to do, then yeah, he really shouldn't have talked about it. Want to destroy, destroy his life. Like, give me your livelihood. <laughs> the smackdown on him probably everybody is leaving the queue right now or all the people that are crashing like I did Those fish, they didn't like me fishing from the pond for too long. That's why I got kicked. I forgot my drink. I'll be right back a second. Position in the Q1. Get back to 50. <clears throat> My computer is really hot right now. Let's see what it looks like. Load in for. Capacity. Everybody was saying that the CPU usage is crazy, but it looks like it's mainly RAM. RAM. RAM is pretty high, but CPU is looking okay. I'm on an i9 processor, so it better be fine. Let's get back to fishing. Only have one bait left. Let me let me grab some more bait real quick. I got ten of them already. No, I don't want to collect fresh water. You know what's the only thing that's missing from this game? Uh, a way to trade your stuff from storage to other towns. Because the, the game doesn't share the storage among the entire game. You have to actually like be present in the town that you place all the shit in to get it. So like what their system of it oh everything. Their system of it is basically like when let's say you're in this town right here or something, this settlement. If you have stuff there and you wanna have your stuff be at this town then the only way that you could share the loot from these two towns is if your faction has both of them at the same time. So, like, they have to be the owner of PvP-wise for both. I already picture my... Oh, 
Somebody finally captured something. Look, you see the purple people. They caught this land. So basically, if they get another land, they can have two towns that are shared for storage. So I already picture my my covenant people not having any spots. <laughs> They're probably not gonna have have shit out here. So um, yeah. I kind of wish that they had some kind of system where you can kind of like you know hire a trader similar to Black Desert and just have it ship from one place to another. Even if it took like you know an hour or two or something, that's fine. Not a big deal. But it just sitting in a certain town kind of sucks. All right. Well, I have more than enough bait now. Back to fish. What game was most on? Uh, what? What game was your most successful viewer-wise with streaming? Um, probably it was Space Lords when I was playing that. I played a lot of Space Lords, and I used to get a lot of people watching me for that. Also, Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, when I was doing that, I was making a lot of content on Elder Scrolls Online. So I was like really adamant about tutorials and all sorts of stuff. Like that was my biggest game of my channel. That's that's where I have like all my subscribers from. Mainly that. So my goal for this year now is to do that with New World. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pump out so much freaking content on New World. I'm gonna be like the New World guy. Mixed with Star Citizen. So I'm gonna do like a lot of content on both. More content though on New World. And Star Citizen. And then as Star Citizen gets closer and closer to launch, I'm probably going to go more serious on it. Because I, I really like Star Citizen a lot. Look at this guy, like, walking around real slow. It's too bad there's no swimming in this game. This game really needs it. And if they do plan on adding boats or whatever, they they have to have swimming. Bass. Where am I at with that one? Gim salmon. Oh, I need twenty of them. Oh my god, yo, that's insane. All right, I give up. GG. I thought maybe it was like five or ten or something. I'm gonna be here all day. A time like that. Get back to leveling. I gotta jump all this loot now, and I gotta like crap like a crazy amount of fish. Oh, really? Asshole interrupted me. Heard something. Growled at me. Supposed to do. The quest that are fin. Routes from fishing traps. Oh, you can do that too. No, we're not. Emerald. I have to check that out. Gotta do that too. Damn, and one. Glitched out. There's the stuff I need to collect. 
Oh, the fish trap. Okay. Oh, okay. So this is this is just for the quest. Crap thing. King, what's going on, man? How you doing? Yeah, it has been a while. Yeah, I'm still at the hotel. Be here for for a while. I see everybody running around ca uh, getting those like cash and stuff like those the those, um, little treasure chest things that you gather and you honestly don't even need to it's mostly like crafting materials in them but um like I've rarely actually got like a like a, you know, an armor piece or something value so it is possible to get something but I don't know most times it's just crafting materials Be like this. See, it gave me some arrows and it gave me sand flux. Shit, I'm never going to use. I guess I could probably put it on the auction house, but I, I just picture those materials like that, those pretty basic materials being saturated as hell on the auction house. And it'll probably be worth like no money pretty much. Did I finish it? So, okay, and two quests available down there, and I gotta turn some in. This one is the hunting, and Go down there and grab some quests, I guess. And then there's some stuff up here. I could teleport to the end. I haven't been back there in a long time. Go over there. <laughs> I say a long time. It's like literally yesterday I was there. <clears throat> oh yeah, the hotel has been great. Like, even my fiancé is like, oh, this is better than our apartment. Never gonna leave. <laughs> Never wanna leave, we just gonna stay here forever. Got banned for killing a cow? What? Okay, why are they killing cows? What's going on with discrimination against cows? Quest here, I think. Oh, let me drop off all my shit. Oh, damn, I got a lot of loot. All these arrows that I have. I'll keep the bait. Yeah, anyway. Less items away? Oh, that's uh, shitty. Grab. Have. Oh, like these Nightcrawler bait. That. Oh, I got a lot of baits here. 
stole those bait. So much shit in this town. Most of the stuff I I've been raping, uh, ripping it apart. See these. Kind of look at the piece here to see what kind of bonuses they get because sometimes they're good. Utilizing stopping power. Gain 17 stamina on kill when using stopping power. Okay, that sounds like crap. It actually looks like. Ooh, okay. Looks like an assassin now. Focus and intelligence, yes. Dexterity and strength. Have. But I could probably put this one on the auction house, so that. Better than the one I got. Oh, yeah, it's better. Got two. Constitution. Intelligent. Trying to save some weapons just so I can have them in case I want to play with it eventually. But I don't know. Like, part of me just wants to just go on the auction house and just buy it. Pretty cheap, anyway. A lot of people are like ripping themselves off pretty much on this auction house. Like, right here, I can go price something. See, there's none available. So, I could put it up for 100 bucks. I'll probably sell it. Aaron. Actually, on. I put it up for a hundred bucks, but realistically, what level? Seven? Okay, that's fine. I think it might sell. This will definitely sell. Gauntlet, but um, I'm going to save it for myself, actually. And this gun and also the bow that I have. Pretty rare looking bow. So... I, I gotta play around with it. I just I don't know. I'm just not really feeling bow that much. I wish it was a little bit better. Actually, let's fuck around with it. Try. I'm been so like biased with my stuff that I've been, especially life staff that always stays in my tray. That good. Red Dead Redemption DLC sucks. Oh, you've been playing it? I don't know anything about the, the online mode of that. I never even finished the, the regular game. I'm slow. I think I have... I think I have gems I could put in. Gain three. See how this. How do I put the gem slot in? I'm available. Oh, it's an actual gem gem. Alright, so it's not the thing that I just grabbed. I don't know what that is. I don't have gems. Let me see if there's any on the auction house. I'm curious if that's how it works. This guy running in place. This is what people have been doing to stay logged in so they never log out. Yeah, there's already people starting to make ammo for 
for weapons. Their business. It's like gems. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if you can, can't sell that or, I'm not sure what category that would be under. Crafting mod. Oh, these crafting mods are different. What I'm thinking, how do you put a gem in then? How does that work? It's raid. No idea. All right. Well, I got some quests available. Oh, this one. Hey, how are things? I hear Bixford and Seville still got their heads up their butts. We got Yeah, I don't have the the webcam here at the hotel. Hate to say it. I didn't bring my whole setup. I only brought my uh, TV with the computer. It's a little out there, but it might at least earn us a friend. So, survivalist Lee is influential over in Everfall. He's got an obsession with fashion. Er Close, you know. I know, right? But bring him some ancient textiles as a gift, and we'll have at least one ally out there. Hi. No, that light doesn't. Got the quest. Is there anything I can grab from the Covenant? Um, the light of the Covenant shines within you. Oh, I can. Cool. So these repeatable quests, I can still have multiples. Pretty cool. Where am I at with the buff? Oh, I'm almost done. Gathering speed. I, I wonder if. It, but I'm trying to get it maxed out. Let's see if I can do that. I'll just quest out here. I have to go. There is a level. Of Rifts popping up, they're all over the place now. Pretty much that, let's follow the road.
Ow, no. Ow. Let me level up my bow, actually. Oh, that's cool. I like that dodge. I just wish the shooting bow was a little bit faster. I feel like <laughs> bolted for that guy. I think the hardest thing about this game is not getting sidetracked. Because, like, sometimes you'll be on your way to a quest and then you see other things happening, and then it just makes you want to go do that. Before you know it, you're not doing anything you know, you're supposed to do. The game is really good at that. That's a good thing. Kind of reminds me of Skyrim. You just kind of do whatever the hell you want. I just uh, I just wish there was more quests to do on the outside. Like let's say you run up run up on somebody that's like needs help, and he's like, "Help! I'm getting attacked by some wolves!" And you see like the wolves like getting ready to like pounce on him, type of shit. You know that that kind of stuff would be cool. A tattered silk from ancient guardians. Guys, I remember fighting these guys before. I was having a hard time. High enough level now. Really? It's really hard to use like the bow. I like this, um, just the load time is very slow. I think headshots actually do more damage though. I'm trying to see. Oh, that went right past his freaking ear. Oh, I think I'm considered heavy armor now, or medium. That's why I'm dodging this way, I just realized. Seems like the damage is a little bit higher. Oh, I don't know. Adam. Need a slow. I'm already down to 81 arrows. That's crazy. So pretty much, if you're not running around with like 20,000 arrows in your inventory, then you're not going to have a good time with these kind of weapons. Oh, wait, wrong button. I didn't mean to do that. I 
right by his ear. I'll just use my life staff. That's why, that's why I use life staff a lot, because it's just it feels so much better than all weapons that I've ever used. It's faster, doesn't waste any mana, like the best. I don't have to worry about ammo. How slow this. Miserable. Gonna be out of ammo soon. I didn't know that was... Oh, this is for the quest. It is. I'm gonna miss. So nice to kite on this. Oh, really? Um, okay. that's the quest. Now Oh wait, this is another quest. Search chest. I haven't chest at all. Oh shit, I wasn't expecting him to be that close. There goes one. I need to find one more. Probably one on this side. <laughs> These are the most vicious. The ones that are crawling. They hit really hard and they're fast. Like way faster than they should be. Mission complete. Next, we kind of a lot of missions that are already complete that I have to get out of my tray. Okay. 
I kind of like this this whole like dodge quickly thing. I guess this is because I'm wearing armor or something. I'm not really sure. I've been wearing light armor this whole entire time, so I'm always at a dodge roll. I put this on. Oh, it's medium. Okay, I'm wearing a lot of medium stuff. Ah, I see. So I went past this threshold, 15. And now I'm doing those kind of dodges instead of the roll. Get it? Let's by weight. Drop some of these that I already... I don't need to have pin. There it is. Okay, I have two quests to do. Everything else I have to turn in. Be almost out of arrows. Chased. I somehow hit him. I, I don't even, even know how that happened. Oh, I could cheese him from here. Oh shit, you could cheese me from there. Oh, this quest, right. I was trying to do this earlier, and I was too low level for it, so now I can try to figure out where the hell these pumpkins are. Should have changed it to rapier. Leaf mode. Take me a while to kill these. Kill. Oh shit, we don't need to get more mobs on us. Okay, let me change weapons. Here. Fire staff. Actually, I'll hold on to that because I don't have one. Try more rapierness. Of course, I would miss. Of course. Oh my god, what's going on here? Okay, this is a little much. Okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. One button. Okay, you hit me hard. Alright. Heal, please. Thank you. Jesus. I almost screwed myself over. On the gauntlet. Oh, God. They respawn really fast. 
don't. Come in. are getting serious right now. I need to find apparently pumpkins. I haven't seen any of that shit. Or squash rather. Really? Whoa, 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 whoa. Ow. I missed. Oh, shit. No, we can't have this. We can't have this. All right, no, no, no. Time to run. Much. Too much. There, I could heal. I can heal through this guy's damage. This shit's crazy. This area is like treacherous as fuck. Not really sure. Um, I really don't know how I'm supposed to bust. God damn it, are you serious? God damn. Fucking A. This is not a fun place to be. Wow, here it is. Oh, shit. Yeah, they're gonna get the hell out of here. No. No. Uh-uh. Bye-bye. Oh, oh my god, the sound of it chasing me is creepy. No, 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 no. Oh my god, he's still chasing me? Stop. Go home. Damn. Vicious. I wish it would unpin automatically when the gun... Actually, is there a setting for that? I feel like there probably would be. Gameplay. Camera sensitivity. Camera shake. I haven't done anything as far as all this stuff. Really did a pretty good job with the the HUD and the controls and everything because I got used to it. Abdul invites. Auto traverse. 
Oh, cool. So it just jumps over stuff. I thought it did that automatically anyway. It kind of felt like it's been doing that. Targeted healing. Oh, so you can do it manually? Oh, that would be hell. We're running around like jackrabbits. Camera. I don't see anything about that. Ability cool. A weapon. Oh. I remember what I was looking for. I didn't see it. Oh, right. It was the quest thing. Alright. It's not there. So, let me go up here. Actually, in what? Alpha in. Okay. That's easy. That. What I do is just steal the kill, basically. Cow. Oh, is that what you... Okay, I don't know if you're still here, King, but... You were saying about somebody that got banned for killing a cow? That was in this game, right? Because I thought I saw that pop up on my YouTube. Some random, like... Refer referral thing. How the hell do you get banned for killing a cow? Or milking a cow, actually. Cause that's, that's what it said on the on the thumbnail was milking account. I'm like, eh, that sounds like clickbait, so I ain't even bother clicking on it. Oh, my brother's playing Dragon Age Origins. Playing the originals. I have to go bother him and say, why aren't you on New World? What? Let's go check on his ass. Shouldn't be playing it right now. Oh, there he is. Nice, everything looks better actually. And my frames are on the top right. Oh, stop! Let's see what he says. I asked him. I hit hard. Wow, I hit hard. Holy. That's scripture. Oh, what happened? Oh, you messed up the thing. Oh, hold on a second. He might come in here. Maybe. Oh, oh there he goes. I didn't realize it was going to Oh, do I that. see. Why aren't you playing New World? My bad. I, I, You and Akoski have the same color. I see. I see. For all of you, Gooch Gan, why aren't you playing New World? I was watching you play New World, man. Uh, I don't know. I don't... <laughs> I knew I don't he was going to do I this. I have a, a want to play it, Scriptures. Oh, God. You thought it was just your internet? No, it's it's the game. I mean, come on. Yeah, I don't really have the interest. Is 
think a lot of people. I, I, I look. Me and Sistyle are always the ones. Uh, you know. We'll go for. Of course, to, uh, he doesn't want to play. He, <laughs> he's really picky with MMOs. Very loud. Dragon, <laughs> Dragon Age definitely is a pretty good game, though. You guys never played it. It's definitely good. But he's uh, my brother's pretty picky with um, MMOs. Really kind of, you know, he'll play his World of Warcraft or something or Final Fantasy XIV. He was super serious on, but anything like that, like stuff that he's not really familiar with, he's not gonna bother with. Especially with a new MMO. Definitely taking a chance. Because he's like me and he's super cheap. And he doesn't spend any money on anything. Unless he knows guaranteed that it's going to be fun. So, um... Okay, so... supposed to do... Oh, right here. One of the guys I got to hunt. Oh, this is a different quest, actually. Enough PvP flag. You can only attack other players. Oh, okay. I wasn't trying to attack them. <clears throat> what is the best Dark Souls in your opinion? Part 3. I just noticed you know. Part 3 is uh, hands down my favorite. Like the graphics are amazing. The the char like the 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 bosses that they made in that is just so freaking cool looking. Every single one looks so badass. The introduction to it was amazing. Fighting that that freaking God of War freaking statue thing, whatever the hell it was. That shit was insane. That was an insane opening. Part 1 just kind of took me off guard with that giant like, fat gremlin thing but um in part three like i really loved the boss fights it was just super climactic i don't even know if that's the right word to use oh this is the thing i need to kill but i'll let this guy get it because There you go, skin it. It's all you. Good. I'll wait for the next one. Like, um, something in here? Silver. Silver, real quick. Blap, blap. Take seven years. I need to get better mining equipment. Done. You not get it? Like, or he was probably helping me out. See, but if you don't understand how this system works with the whole like sharing of loot like that, then, um, it's like a free-for-all to get the, the skin for, for like, a quest. Oh. 
that's the thing that kind of kind of blows about the system and the way they have it right now especially since some of them are really tied to an actual quest i feel like the body should stay there for a little bit until you like collect the thing you need at least to share it among people um that's the problem when you play with like thousands of other players is that you know being able to share stuff is kind of difficult Shit, I mean, even on a team, you probably have to take take turns trying to skin it. They definitely need to do something with that. Damn, that mountain looks... I gotta climb that mountain, apparently. Probably gonna drown. I go find a shallow spot. You don't have much breath before you like completely drown. No. <clears throat> Pretty shitty. They should have just added swimming. God damn it. Shouldn't have been a problem. And they need to add auto pathing. Black Desert. You know what? They should just copy every single thing that Black Desert Online has and just cut that, put it in here. Copy the music. Put it. <laughs> and even copy the music and put it over in this game. Like literally, just copy paste everything except for all the bullshit. How am I gonna get up this mountain? God. Like literally, it looks like the mountain goes. See all these dark spots. <sighs> How do I get around this mountain? Climb this. I don't see any climbing spots. You know, it'd be cool if they added some kind of like grappling hook, a grappling hook up there, and then just kind of shimmy up. I'll be so badass. I feel like that would be something that would work in this day and age of this game. Like, you know, all these explorers going around trying to, like, wall climb Rainbow Six style. <laughs> all right, while the gunshots are going off, let me check to see what our brother <laughs> Our brother. Dogs that get sick from biting brother. Darkspawn. At any rate, he was offering a reward if someone went into the, the graphics park actually don't look bad in part well, one, what baby. Think about it is all. Okay. It's okay. just it's just a top down view I you have to worry it. about. My fiance is like obsessed with Dragon Age. We played she's playing part three no, again the, for the second no. time. Oh, what's this way? Oh, more area. Okay, let's... <laughs> more area. Here we go. Oh, look at this staircase. That's what I needed to do. Silly old me wants to do things the hard way and try to climb up a mountain. Parkour. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Yeah. Parkour, baby. I really like that they added a little bit of climbing in this. This is cool. It reminds me of um, Grand Theft Auto V. Nice little climbing system. I had to find links.
there search the ruin for a lot of a lot for over there oh Wrong button to be one of the snipe. But what am I supposed to looking exactly? Adis. Adis. Yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be looking for exactly. Oh, this? I think I'm supposed to land the second attack for the bleed to happen. What is that? I'm supposed to land a second attack. That's why. That's why. Of, uh, of this here. Ancient Helm of the Priest. What's that about? Pretty crazy looking. Intelligence and focus. Heavy armor. Oh my god, that looks ridiculous. I can shut it off. Hide headgear. Oh, nice. Oh, look at that thing. I can hide the helmet. I didn't like the way the helmet looked. Terrible. Okay, so... What am I... Okay, I'm supposed to go down... Okay. I went to the wrong area. That's why. Bodies.
Oh, look at the ghost. That's supposed to be like a... Be a dungeon boss. Oh shit, look at the way it teleported all the way up there. Easy. That looks like a scary thing to fight. Rapier is pretty good, I like it. It's fun. There it is. Alright, so now the next one. Down the river. Check out this question mark. <clears throat> I actually wouldn't mind playing Dark Souls 3 again. I, I really love that game. I didn't care for part 1 that much. But um... Part 3 was definitely my favorite. Part 2 sucked ass. It was actually made by a different developer, so... I guess that shows why it wasn't up to par. I just feel like the overall feel of the story and the combat just didn't feel as good. Not that Dark Souls even remotely tells you much of a story it's pretty vague but at least um like the first game just had so many interesting things happening that it always made you wonder like what's next there's just something really cool about that world marks bluff leveled up again gatherings in that area i don't know Know what I'm maxing out. Alright, so Everfall. I got quests to turn in in every single corner of the world. So let me go over here. Stuff into that town. Which fucking fast traveling actually works. Like, look, I got, I got 320 of those things. I don't know. Let's tr Let's test it out. You can only fast travel while in a settlement. Help. Oh, really? That sucks. So I gotta wait five minutes for my teleport to come back to an actual teleport. This is dumb. There's like too many like teleportation restriction game. That's one thing that's pretty dumb about this game. There shouldn't be this much of restrictions. This actually feels worse than The Witcher 3. That's why I like Genshin Impact teleports uh, system so much because like literally you jump around all over the place. Like you learn a landmark and you go right to it. Same thing with Guild Wars 2, go right to it. Especially with how slow the running is in this game. There's no mounts, this makes it even slower. Going that river, yes, or round. Summer ever. I 
pretty crazy that purple people take took over a high level zone over the the easy zone. I would have thought that somebody would have grabbed that by now. I wonder what it takes to actually take over a place. It's governed by purple big brains. What the hell is that? Is that a guild or a person? Pass you, buddy. That looks really cool, though. Look at the scenery. Looks like it will be a badass battleground, like kind of war. Big brains. Crafting very high. Finding very high or high. I wonder if people actually set the prices of land. Like if it's like Fable 3 style. Crazy. <laughs> you gave Master Henry the what for, didn't you? Let's hope that bastard stays down. Leave it to me to tell old Tekla. I appreciate your help, friend. What's this? Oh, such fine silk. And quite a familiar quality. Timeless both in durability and in style. Tell me, where did you find these and what do you want in exchange? Name your price. I want 20 levels. A gift? For me? How generous. Someone knows my taste, too. Territory. Well, I'm listening. But so far, the quests are really meh. Not feeling the actual story. I don't even know what's what when it comes to the um. Called the main and the side quest. Like I, I don't know the difference between them. Like, it, it doesn't seem like story ever changes much and it's like the there's no cutscenes or anything cool to see or actual real dialogue that goes towards something dramatic you know so far the quest has just been pretty run of the mill go get me this go get me that go kill this that's a typical MMO quest yes it must be some bizarre, crude sense of humor that drives someone like Odno Lee. All right, get my the... former friend fell to the corrupted in the Shadow Mine area. Oh, that's sad. Bad. Wait. <laughs> I just accept the question as it. I'm supposed to feel bad or something. Give me XP. Yeah, I wish the story was better. If it wasn't for the core gameplay being this fun, I probably wouldn't be playing this game right now. Because the uh, story is not def not gripping me at all. I got another S. You're a quick one, aren't you? Here's the thing, though. When you give the ore to Petrovsky, tell her it's an anonymous gift. Eh? Trading tax. That'll get her attention. Shoo. Uh, uh, XP oh. gain. Uh. I wonder how high you can get the XP gain. Anybody home? Anybody home, boys? At quest. Where's the main one? Let's see if I can focus on that. 
talk to you. Anda Alzamar. Aranda. And everything. We're gonna do the main quest on like that be like it. Yeah. Fast travel over there for a hundred thingamajig. Let's go ahead and fast travel because. What game is this? This is New World. This is a brand new game from Amazon Studios. And uh, it's an MORPG similar to Black Desert Online, Guild Wars 2, Other Scrolls Online. It's pretty much all three games. <laughs> it's like it's like six MMOs in one. The, the main thing that really makes this game different from the others is the combat system. It has a real dodge and block combat system so um that's that's the best part about this game so far the story is meh so don't expect much from this and um yeah i mean everything else is really nice don't look fish the ghost is back probably with ideas read about the soul wardens did you what a pretentious name. Sworn guardians of the uncorrupted and so forth. Fairy tales. Candles in the dark. Lies. Real. True. Those are different things. How dreadful. I don't even know what this guy is talking about. When there's no help in truth. Sophocles had the right idea. However true the Soul Wardens might have once been, they're just lies now. I have no I idea what he's <laughs> trying to tell me. Why bother? My words are weak. He's like listening to an old man just no. ramble. No one listens to the mad wanderer. But the old homeless man. Eat if he's don't know me anywhere. everywhere. Alright. Get to the, the point. Alright. Go where? Visit the ancient tower. Learn more about the soul warden. That all the way the fuck up there. Damn. Now I'm gonna have to use more of the thingies to teleport, no? Wait, did it use my stuff or no? It did. Unless it just rewarded me. I don't, I don't And how this as off thing. Yeah, it says through completing quests and closing corruption breaches. Teleport. Well, let's fast travel back to the inn. And I'll probably I'll turn in the missions there, grab whatever, and then Teleport to the next place. Okay. There is. Oh, I got to turn in a few quests actually. Grab this one. Turn in the other two. So have you heard the latest catastrophe? All the crops are spoiled. Even if we do manage to defend against corruption, we'll starve in here. We'll find a solution. Perhaps. I'm half a mind to strike out on my own at this point. If I'm gonna stay, you're gonna have to help me convince Seville to do something. Okay. I don't know. You're the genius here. I'm just a common survivalist. I'd say gather some spoiled crops from the lakeside farm. Then See, it's always go grab shit. 
It's like they they talk about something and then they always tell you the same thing. It's like, oh, you know what you need to do? Go grab me some shit. Oh, you know what you need to do? You need to go kill this over there. <laughs> you know, like it's it's always the same thing every time. At least, you know, like with The Witcher 3, I remember like everybody was going nuts with the story in that game. And that game was a lot of go here and go kill that and all that. But it was the stuff in between that made that game special. Like the building of the characters and the emotion and no just just like the witcher and his like funny little um remarks and stuff like that that's that's what really would made the game special well look at that that squash is about as healthy as any i've ever seen what gives then our crops are all getting spoiled while the ones on the farm yeah the graphics are really nice fine. yay uh I gotta turn it that one over there. That should be get Dex up. Dropping some focus. I'm gonna drop points and I don't think I wanna do that anymore. It up to press and dex. Probably get the intelligence one. I don't know if that actually counts for that's why I'm kind of curious to see if the damage is any higher when I get there. Does light and heavy attack, heavy magic attacks. Damage. Okay. I think I'm going to make a dex build. I'm going to try messing around with different types of armor. kind of want to see like what works and what doesn't. Need some Gwent cards. Yes! This game definitely needs some kind of like, you know, mini games you can do with people. That would be cool. Like if you can go into a bar and play like Gwent, you know, not the same thing obviously, but do something like that. Play blackjack or something against other players. Like the that would be cool. And actually bet. So you can put some, some money down. Bam. That would be badass. Alright, let's go. Couple things actually to area. So let me do things in this area and then I'll next This game desperately needs mounts. It really, really does. Oh, that's what I gotta do. Deposit some stuff in the bank. Or I land up getting full on inventory. Oh, look at all the shit I got. Forgot I gotta open all that treasure. Well, that was what was holding me back. Back, full of rocks that I collected. Crafting. A lot of pieces. You have five percent maximum health. Constant. Part. Frame from focus. 
see if I can find some dex thing to throw on. Strength and dex. I want to see if I can get, like, I think focus and dex, if that's a thing. I'm... Alright, is there 270 or... See, I could probably sell it on auction house. Why not make some cash? Level one. How much they're going? Oh, perfect. What is gonna buy that? And these are all the things I sold already. Or actually, no. Thing. Some of these are not selling at all though. Probably have to lower the prices. Oh, I forgot to open these. Boxes. A new life staff. Garbo. Garbo's. Big. Constitution, intelligent. I like the organ, uh, organization of your equipment. Not all bunched up. Yeah, it, it definitely. It's it's very neat. Uh, my fiance saw this and was like tripped out by it. She was, like, God, this looks confusing. <laughs> but but um, it's actually not bad compared to most MMOs. Pretty pretty nicely organized and labeled. Straight for free. Ignore all this side shit. Oh, cabbages. Could have gathered some cabbages. I like my armor. It looks pretty cool. Like the leather. Way it's like glistening in the sun like it looks really really nice into it like look at that i don't know if you could see the same kind of detail but see how it's like glistening in the sun it looks really nice so, so like the graphics are amazing in this game my nose looks ridiculous <laughs> you can't really like that's that's the only sad part about this the customization in this game is really weak can't really alter too much with your face like i even wanted to put the scar over my eye and it, it just didn't work out like you see it it's only under the eye and that's the only way i could put it i couldn't move it i was hoping to put it like over my eye there's no customization like true customization Could be something that would be updated in the future, but I don't know. I highly doubt it. So, okay, my quest is in search chest. I like how the the thing like you see that warp that comes in to show you that the mission is in this area. That's And even on your your um, the compass on the top actually displays that you're in a mission area right now. Oh shit, that was a boss. Oh, nice, I loot a bunch of stuff. And I got one of the pieces I need. Read the 
explore a lore stuff. Actually, I'm gonna hold off on reading that until the game comes out. I think I'm actually gonna. Oh, I need to be level 45 for the. Search test. I like that, you know, um, we all get progress towards the same goal, you know, so I can help people out. You know, like if they're getting jumped, you can actually heal them and then actually like be able to contribute at the same time. It's like this zombie is like stuck under the ground. Got spawned in there. Poor thing. Oh, there's one more right here. Seeing things. Poor thing. Level up. Oh, here we go. Nice. Right into one. Perfect. Complete. Oh. Oh, I got some attribute. Oh shit! How did I get attribute points? Oh, from leveling the weapons gives you attribute points? I had no idea. That's pretty... That's not... Okay. Got what I... Intelligence I was putting... Or, no, it was Dex. It was So gain grit, will flourish and grit. When applying the first bleed stack to an opponent, this cooldown is reduced. Ah, ah, that's good. On top of this thing. Nice. Then I can basically keep spamming. Bodies. Bodies. This needs to be a little bit. Oh, you hold control. Ah, uh, because I, I I kept I kept pressing it and then pressing control, and the real way to do it is to hold control then press your your skill, and then it uh it cast it on yourself. Nice. Okay, so I just learned some. So I like, go like this and then I go. Badis myself. Badis. Oh, that's so much better. I'm learning how to play this game. All right, so now I need to kill Ancient Guardian. Bodies. Ah. 
So I guess the bleeds can stack. Is that what I'm... button next two all right this has been knocking these missions out good i haven't cooked in a while What I really want to get is some kind of like um, heal on hit type shit. Both hit each other. Watch into the phone. Uh, no, there's no classes in this game. Uh, the class is determined by the weapon that you're using. And um, so far, I can only equip two weapons at once or at a time, like you swap between them. But um, this is your classes, basically. Here. So if you want to use a sword and shield, you, know, you can, I guess, be a tank or whatever. Um, tanking is pretty much has a lot to do with the way you build your um your overall gear and everything together like i noticed that there's pieces of gear that let's say for example I, I saw a gem slot that you can put in a piece of gear that says taunts the enemy for five seconds or whatever you know so that that's the kind of stuff that makes you a tank is by building it to be a tank so you can play anything you want like right now i i can i am planning to play a healer like you see i can heal people Nemo, heal people like this. See, heal that guy to full, and I can heal this other guy. I can see heal that guy. Be a pocket healer. See, so it's pretty cool. <laughs> Swing and a miss. There you go. Ah. <clears throat> and then when it comes to crafting and all that stuff you can do whatever the hell you want um you just literally equipped all the different types of things like you see fishing rod flint so that's like so you the hatchet so you cut the trees down Mining pick, all that shit. So you can just go around and you can just chop down a tree. And you have to level up that craft. So there's basically its own level up tree for the, the skill trades. So I'm level 10 in smelting. So 
I want to go and be an armor smith, I can do that. If I want to just sit here and just do logging all day and cutting down trees, you see I can do this, level 15 at that. See the next gatherable thing, level 50, and then I can get mature trees, and then it's gets higher and higher quality. So specializing in a certain profession can be beneficial to you because then you can make some money. You can, and it seems like you can just be everything, like the master of everything if you really, really wanted to dedicate do that so i really like that you you just play one character that's literally every anything you want it to be so kind of similar to final fantasy 14 but without having to worry about switching classes just swap weapons that's it you're not stuck to being that class so the thing that i didn't like about final fantasy 14 was that when you do dungeons and you pick like the conjurer for example you are a healer period like it's not like you can join it in as a dps or something this thing is really gonna chase me yo Damn, I'm skinning your ass for that. Normally don't skin, but <laughs> he got on my nerves. He deserves this. Um, see, I'm level 30 with skinning. I realized I was that high. But no chocobo! <laughs> yeah, we don't get a chocobo yet. Maybe we'll get a chocobo someday. Level 20 area. Where, where am I supposed to be? Oh, this is the area, actually. Okay, so what am I supposed to be? Harvesting corn. Oh, shit. Okay, this is not a fun looking area. Not a fun area. If I can jump up here. Up. And then look, you can prone. <laughs> you can go around prone. I don't think you can actually hide from the monsters, though. Like, they have just some line of sight thing. See that big ass monster? Look at that thing. Shitty seat. See if I can fight it. Actually doing something. I don't know. He's probably gonna reset. Yep, you reset. Not gonna let me exploit. Kind of stuck up here now. There's a lot of mobs. All right, I'm gonna run for my life. Oh shit! One throwing at me. Random pig. Final Fantasy Eleven. I, I played. I played a lot of that. Getting the chocobo was hell. I went through so much of a headache trying to get that chocobo. I remember trying to get to 20 desperately, and I was like, it was super slow to level. And I finally got to 20, and I went through the whole process of feeding the chocobo and doing errands for the chocobo, taking it out on a date, treating it to popcorn, all sorts of crazy shit. And then just for it to break my heart, I, I get on top of it, I ride it for a little bit, I got off of it, and it ran away and never came back. So then I had to do it all over again. I was like, no. I think I'm done with this game. <laughs> That's literally when I quit. 
I, I just couldn't do it. I was so fit. I was so upset. Um. Yeah, I finished all the quests in this area. Walk back home. Wish there was fast travel. Like, real fast travel and not this bullshit one. This running back and forth shit is definitely the slowest part about the game. Iron just popped up. See the sound effects? You can visually see the sound effects. Level 20 mining. And an achievement. Level 20. Total weight of all fish you've caught. Two. I'm almost there actually. Got that achievement. I'm gonna go crazy on the achievements when this game goes live. I'm gonna try to get every single I can. I'm gonna be an achievement whore. One of the achievements is die 7,000 times in PvP. Alright, yes, let's do it. And do a three six. Guy with purple hair. That is, I don't even know if that's a dude. I think that was. I need auto pathing in the game. This tedious, and then I can go get a drink, go take a piss, come back. Town. That was the best part about Black Desert. I love that. At first, I was like, "No, this is some bullshit." People just running. I'm against that. I love torture. <laughs> and then, you know, after after I got used to it, now I can't go any other way. If the game doesn't have fast travel or auto running, then I just can't. <laughs> just can't do it. It really sucks. Annual traveling shit. The fact that you can make money as a priest teleporting people. Oh, right. I remember that. You know, they, they even had something like that kind of in Guild Wars 2. People didn't pay for it, but it was uh, there's people that play Mesmers so that they can put a teleport thing down at the end of the jumping puzzle. And people that you know come in, they don't have to do the jumping puzzle. They just go straight to the end. Get the... The light of the covenant shines within you. Please. Uh, warning token cap. Oh, there's a cap. I didn't know that. The light of the covenant shines within you. Point. How do you buy shit? Here, I thought. Oh, oh wait, no. This How does this the light of the covenant shines within you? That die symbolizes the hearts of all in the covenant. Aw. Use it to color your clothing so all will know your affiliation. Oh, that I'm affiliated with a group of people that are considered GIMP. 
<laughs> like pretty much everybody is like you see the green on top that's like the viking people that love to kill people so uh everybody's playing those guys for i'm like a part of the gimp crew see i don't know how to use the points i i thought there was like a thing that i can access here i the light of the covenant what I speak shines to her within. about it. Oh, buy rewards. Oh, pfft, it's a button. Alright, so I could buy a hat. Oh, okay, so that's... Like an upgrade. Can I buy gems from you? Please. Really what I need. Minor rune of holding. Holding room that gives ability to hold more than they would. That I don't even know what that is. Ammo. Looks like decent pieces of armor, but at least sure. See this empty uh, socket on it. How do you get a gem? Oh, this looks like it's dramatically better. Oh, no, never mind. That much. They're decent weapons, I guess, for starting. How do I become... Oh, I probably have to... Do... Mana Elixir. Elf one. Oh, I can buy bullets. Let's buy some bullets. Let's try to mess around with some guns. What do I have? Buy. Oh, it cost me money to do? Oh man, I thought it was gonna be free. But I think I could just go buy ammo from the auction house and I think it might be cheaper let me see but I think maybe this is what people are doing to get a flip a door over here all right Ian you have a good night two dollars a piece that place was trying to rip me off it was like no never mind dollars a piece that's actually more expensive oh yeah yeah that's way more expensive okay so people are ripping people off so maybe that could be a nice flip you know what let's let's see something here we might have a way to I don't know if this is tradable. Test it out. Is that me? Alright, wait, oh. Uh, the light of the covenant shines within you. Cartr iron cartridge. Bye as I could possibly get. Oh, wait. How many do I... Thousand. Buy now. I just bought 600? I, what? How many tokens did I have?
I okay, so I guess that would, I guess that's how many tokens I had. It was like three thousand. All right, so I used all my tokens. I have. We could have 500 ammo and thing here. Right here. Right. Let's fuck around with some guns. I, I kind of want to just out of curiosity see if I can sell it on the auction house. It would be a nice flip to be able to do this. Transitioning those little points. Yep, oh, iron cartridge. They're going for two dollars and ninety-eight cent. So I could probably sell them for like I don't know a dollar. We'll like undercut them. Or I'll put two dollars. Put a hundred. Happens. That will give me how much? Balance. That 293 for all of them? Like I'm I'm really confused. Listing fee. Unit price. Okay, unit price. How many will I be getting back for doing? Place the sell order for iron cartridges. Alright, I'm gonna see how much they sell for. They sell. Disneyland going on. This one looking like a like a maid. Huh. It's excellent to see you as always. I hear you're investigating our spoiled crops. Have we found any that aren't ruined? This corn is from the lakeside farm. Let me see. Oh yes, this seems to be quite healthy. Let me go to that the bathroom. Means we do have a significant quantity of food, perhaps more than we need.
Okay, I'm back. Level 20. If the cash is overrun by we and still have healthy crops, then we must harvest them. We might even be able to use this as leverage. Leverage for what exactly? Think about it. If the crops are failing in the territories of our neighbors, they're desperate. We can supply them with our healthy crops and they'll thank us for it. Uh, allies. Better yet, an obscene profit. <laughs> in fact, Laugh. we all visit Aruda Ranch and try to find some of that famous jam they made. If it's unspoiled, we're in luck. Alright, get what they got going on here. So, this here, energized rations. I forgot, I have to be level 12 or something. Level do I have to be? I have to be like a certain level and then, it, then I can make the part two camp. I don't know if I can do it already. This one, I think I needed iron. Look at all this. Oh. So, fire. Firm fish fillet. You know what? Let me check the auction. If I could just buy my way out of this quest. I don't have to work. How about that? Craft that. Full words. That is. Okay, so I need firm fish fillet. Ah, uh, this is to buy. That sucks. Alright, so we have to actually work for that one. Where is this play and all that? Oh, that's our. Um, Level 24, that's gonna be plus right here. This is really a brain buster, isn't it? The crops grown near the settlement are Another oh, fucking gathering you need me to do? No. Seville is keen on us sharing secrets with other settlements. Other shit. All right, there were amazing squashes at Trace Campos. Snatch one and take it to Barkey Cormac in Windsward. Our secret, though. These dudes. Go do. Press the grab down there. Look better. I could probably knock these out. See if I can fast travel over there. So, oh, 90. Is that how much it costs, or that's how much I have? Said I have 364, I think. How this work? Yep, it went down 274. At least it saved me a little bit of running, but I need to figure out if there's an easy way to get that as off because I'm not really seeing it happen. Oh, there it is. Okay. There it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. I see it now. Erno. 150 Azoths. Gives 20. That one gives 500. I gotta turn that in. And. So it seems like the regular side quests are the ones that give it. 
I don't think the Covenant type quest them. Like it. Faction mission. Any. The regular quest I do. This seems kind of like a waste because if you're a crafter, then you probably want to hoard those things. What's up, Jay? Game good, then? Like, uh, you loot things. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, uh, so far I like it. I like it a lot. This is definitely going to be the game that I'm going to be playing a lot of, and you're going to be seeing, like, a lot of tutorials that I'm going to be doing on YouTube. Um, so far, yeah, it's, it's very sandboxy. So, you're going to be running around gathering stuff. You can craft, you can mine, you can do everything that you want. Similar to Black Desert Online, combat system is a lot more like Dark Souls than Black Desert. So, dodging, blocking, you know, actively trying not to get your ass whooped is like the best way to go. And then also the class system is basically you picking a weapon type and then building your gear for that type of way you want to play. So, um, like... But for example, like DC Sword and Shield, if you wanted to be a traditional tank, you can go with the Sword and Shield, slap on some heavy armor, you know, something to kind of beef yourself up, uh, put on some some actual bonuses that are gonna help benefit you as a tank, like more defense, um, giving yourself like, uh, let's say you hit the target and it taunts the the mob for five seconds, you know, that kind of stuff. Those are the things that are gonna help you do that job better. Same with healing, you know, actually like getting the life staff, actually fitting yourself out with getting more focus points so that you can get, you know, that talent up because focus is more towards life staff, the mana increase and it probably boost the amount of healing you do. You know, so so building it up for that type of job is is the way you make builds in this game and the way you kind of tailor your class. So like life's the life staff is actually really good. You see the damage on it is pretty sick. So like even if you go straight healing staff, like it's still it's pretty nice. And then I can swap over. See, and then I start using the the rapier. I like the rapier a lot, it's really cool. And then if I wanted to, I could just switch out and then say, you know what, fuck it, I don't want to use the rapier anymore. And then I start using a gun. Put the gun in there, and I start using gun. So, see, so you can change your build at any point, a point just by switching weapons. Damn it. I like the, the sound effect so much. So good. And you actually I have to actually physically aim. You see, I missed that. It whizzed right by his ear. I'm trying to get headshot. He is really nice. But it's really easy to miss so like it's it's pretty the hitboxes are are like exactly the size of the mob so if you miss it's because you missed it's pretty nice the way they put this together i hope that there's weapons that have like more bullets in the chamber because this reloading after every shot is kind of Yeah. I can shoot from the hip like this, but I noticed that the accuracy is really bad. Am I supposed to be here? Right, okay. I'm supposed to do pass through full warden seal and investigate the top of the tower. These guys right here are flagged for PvP. You see the red names, like the red uh, number on them? They're flagged for PvP. Looks like nobody else is flagged out here, so. <laughs> You're not fighting anybody. I notice that most people don't care for PvP at all. They don't, they don't. So. Damn, everybody beating the fuck out of it. I missed, like. 
Okay, so this is the last. Let me switch to my rapier because I'm more comfortable with that. Need to do some healing. Yeah, I can be a healer now. Adis! Yeah, I gave that guy mad support. You see, that's that's why I really like the way builds are in this game. So I can be a healer, I can be a tank, I can play the, the way I want to. You know? I really love playing healers in MMOs. So I like having this hybrid DPS healer thing going on. It's cool. The feet fallen soul warden. So I guess I missed it. That's really cool. Oh, here we go. I think this is full water. Shit. Leaf mode. Leaf mode. This is kind of crazy. Holy shit. Alright, let me go back to healing. Mobs with the fucking knockback, man. Okay, I got credit. That's it. That's the end of the mission. Get the fuck out of here. Slowly off. <laughs> you don't really take much fall damage, so you can jump off a cliff and not really care. Oh, look at it. Let me just make this guy. Oh, I forgot. I thought I had my gun. I don't know why. I hope I get a third weapon eventually. Ah, mob reset. Yeah, look at me. Leaf mode. And uh, I think that's in it for this. <laughs> I'm not sure if you could take it seriously after you destroy the destroyed Fable 2. Damn. <laughs> oh shit. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm not the only one that didn't like it. Beyonce hated it too. Her favorite was 3, and then I tried to get her to play part 1, but when she saw, she saw how clunky the combat looked, and she was like, nah, I don't want to do it. And then part two, she seriously dedicated. She finished it all the way through. Like, really, truly finished it. And tried to do everything that she could. And all she did was complain about it the entire time. So, like, <laughs> she was glad to, to be over with it. I don't know. It just wasn't a very fun game. It had its moments, but... Eh. I think I preferred part three. I really like the the whole like the governor part of the game where you know like well you're the the called king of the land. I, I really like that a lot. That that part was really cool. Well, I'm not really getting much XP. <laughs> oh 
damn it, I'm on subbing. <laughs> I really hope that it, the next Fable game is going to be everything that we dream of. I hope it has all the cool shit of part three and have an awesome story. Like, I, I hope they get the whole, like, choices thing right, man. Like, actually having real choice in the story would be amazing. Like, imagine seeing, like, 20 or 30 different endings. You know what I mean? That would be insane. So many different outcomes to the story because of the way you actually made your decisions. That would be, like, epic. That's the future. That. There. Yeah, no Molyneux. That'd be nice if Microsoft said, hey, guess what? Molyneux's back. I doubt it. I don't know what he's doing right now. I think he's probably retired as fuck. Living on some like island. Mars. Mars Island. What I saw or something. question all right let me put that that's probably right here demo oh look this fort is under battle contested syndicate Adis! The hell is that thing? Corrupted ventral? The hell? Crazy. Look at that. Shit. Trying to tag all the mobs. Nice. AOE farming. Holy shit. Oh, what the fuck? Get some Nemo. Oh, this thing hits fucking hard. Holy shit. Whoa. Okay. Back up. I guess this is the farm spot. It's like the farm spot, apparently. Okay, let me do my actual objective, but this is pretty cool. Probably nice to actually like farm a weapon up.
exactly. Gather glowing or okay, so I gotta continue to chest. <sighs> Got into the lore yet? No, I haven't. Flea Mo. Like he gave up. I wonder if the bleeds stack. I've never actually tested that out. towards the, the quest. Oh, okay, so these are gatherable. Now, I'm going to wait until the game is live to get deep into the lore of this and actually read the books and try to understand like what this game is about. Because right now, I don't really... All I know is corrupted breaches, we crash blended on the island, and... I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know from there. The basic, we need to recover the towns and everyone's suffering and blah, 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 blah. Pretty generic stuff. <laughs> it sounds like a balloon in the background. Somebody's trying to pop a balloon. <laughs> the sound effects. Oh. Oh. A shit ton of people here. All right, mission complete. Get to the next one. I don't know what the prone is for other than probably PvP. Like they're in a battleground or something, probably just hide. See these lore things? They give XP every time you can find one. Corruption reason. Okay, also defeat corrupted. Oh, uh, I notice there's not a lot of people that like to run around with the life staff. Like, most like to just you know, go full DPS or whatever. 
it's pretty interesting like just the fact that anybody can grab a life staff and put it on you would think that more people would do it but it doesn't seem like they do i guess they rely more on potions and stuff Like accidentally press it. Too. Oh shit! Broke my. Sh I did that out of order. Like how fast the strikes are. On the Body. Ah, that didn't work. Shit! With that. Okay. Oh, I thought that was a boss. I get scared from no Bodies. Break that shield. Ah, like rapier. So cool. I healed behind me. That's crazy. The targeting system is really weird in this game. I think I'm probably going to have to adjust it because I could see myself really screwing up during a dungeon. Freaking. Whoa. Man, this guy kept stun locking me. Ah, how you like that shit? I really like the combat. Satisfying. Oh, I need to kill two more. Oh, that's it. That's it with the mix. Oh, number. Like somebody was shooting a cannonball. Gargling. Oh yeah, defeat the...
shit out of him. Beat the shit out of him. Okay, mission complete. Alright, so, where am I going now? Town. Go back to the inn and then teleport or something. Actually, what I should have done was just made this my, my area. I'm gonna have to physically run. <clears throat> yeah, they need to make the combat a little bit... Well, not the teleport they need to make that better i wish that you could just teleport wherever the fuck you want i'd have to worry at least teleporting to the towns you know that would be like the best part like i don't care about teleporting to like an actual area out here i mean Running out there at running to the quest area is fine, but having to jog all the way back to turn in your quest sucks. What's gonna take like a majority of your time just running back and forth? Oh, uh, God, I don't have any supplies on me. I was gonna cook, but I'll have to go back to my old town. I bet you that they're gonna come out with some like crafting bag or some shit, just like they did with uh, Elder Scrolls Online. You know, pay fifteen dollars a month and you get a crafting bag. I, I bet you the world is gonna do that. Either that, or they're gonna do the buy bag space thing like Black Desert Online. One of those is gonna give. Does it? People can start complaining a lot. They're gonna say, "You know what? We can make money off of these complaints." <laughs> you know, and then that's when they'll add those things, and then people will be pissed. And then Young Yeah is gonna make a video about it and how angry he is. The society, crushing of gov governments, gamers get loud on the internet. Feel loud. Oh, you know what? They could probably do that, like some kind of Amazon Prime shit. Like, oh, you get Amazon Prime and you'll get a crafting bag for free. Wink, wink. It's not really free, but... Or it'll be a Twitch drop or some kind of thing. If you watch... New world live streams for at least 24 hours minimum. We'll get a crafting bag. It actually, you will get one inventory slot. Just like, not even an inventory slot, like the actual like weight. Like you'll get like one pound off of your weight every single time. So you have to, <laughs> so you'll have to watch the new world t 24 hours a day, seven days a week for an entire year. For you to get the inventory space. See, I'm already giving Amazon ideas right now. That's how they're going to keep their numbers up. So that it can look like everybody's enjoying the game. But we're just slaves to it. Slavery. Yeah, you were suspicious about it too. Yeah, I was also. 
and it and then I you know I, I didn't know for a long time that that Amazon owns Twitch. So when I saw that they were making video games, I was like, oh god, they're gonna take advantage of Twitch. You know, <laughs> that's the first thing that came to my mind. So this game is gonna be the example of it. Nonsense. I didn't ask for this and I shouldn't accept it. They could run that shit. New World, front and center, the entire page. They'll just rename Twitch to New World. Just so everybody could be familiar with it and just immediately wanna just play the game. It's like, man, I have to play it because it's popular, right? gonna turn into that then I'm probably gonna hate the game at that point probably never play it again corruption is most undoubtedly spreading across a turn in right now we must find a way to <laughs> outside our I'm still giving him ideas some time ago a very unfortunate affair with corruption transpired at the Olcott family farm I wonder if there may be clues there as to how we might fight it Marietta Olcott became corrupted. All right, I don't care about your conversation. Walk away while he talks to himself. <laughs> oh man, my XP. Care about what I need to do? Tell me where to go. I already know what I do. All right, I got it. I do. Old school MMO style. You just grab the quest. You run. I'm probably not going to hit level 20. Playing for three and a half hours. Barely got two levels. She sent you out to you got her vengeance, did you? Almost leveled right there. This one. I got a bunch of shit I need to turn in. Not checked in. You're leaving without checking into the inn. I don't want to. My home is the first place I put the inn. Cover the medicinials at collect the medicinials. I sell all this stuff. I look around. I have the chicken coop. That guy out. Meals. Yep. All right. Find four more of those. Uh, voice commands. That would be interesting. Like uh, their voice stuff is actually pretty well done. Like. Um, my sister-in-law has the whole house rigged with the Alexa stuff. Literally throughout the entire house. Camera system. Like an alarm system. Everything that you could possibly imagine. She used to holler at the kids from the, the kitchen. Like, hey, you guys need to go to bed right now. Like, like literally, like, it'll pop up on a TV. It looks, it, it was almost like Star Wars type shit. Like, it was two seconds away from, like, having her image pop up out of the TV and say, Hey, it's time to brush your teeth, assholes. And then, like, <laughs> and then that's it. Like, she warps out. Shit, he's nuking me. You saw that? Holy stuff, man. And a lot of people using rapier. Not the only one that's been enjoying myself. Here's pretty cool. 
Oh shit. Okay. Get up his ass. Bastard. Rat bastard. <laughs> I'm raised by Alexa. <laughs> pretty much. That thing could pretty much happen. It's like, Alexa, raise my kids till they're 20. Would you like me to also wipe their ass? No. They deserve to be shitty. <laughs> and just walk away. Okay, I'm gonna jump. Nemo! Ow. Oh my god, I'm getting triple jumped. Here we farming. Ah, stop throwing up on me. Heal myself. Damn. Oh, I already got this. Brown. Where haven't I been? I feel like I've been to all these houses already. Check this one. Oh, right here. Really now? Touch. Oh, loot. Territory claimed. Hot tub streamers. What they claim? Oh shit, my people claim something. They claimed it. Hey, of us got something. are claiming shit how are they doing it like how does it work i'm assuming that it's like a guild that's claiming oh you're gonna oh 3 a.m damn all right have a good night i'll be back tomorrow with some more of this I'm gonna continue now though Bodies. Looks like turn a mission in and then teleport to my homeland. The gold people. Have captured. Didn't think it was gonna be possible.
Gunshot. Real life gunshot. Yep, still going strong. I'm about to hit level 18. Actually, we've just been doing quests and not bad levels. Bodies. I see you've returned. Let's have a look at those medicinals. Medicinals, that's how you pronounce it. I wonder if these might have been what I call them medicinals. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a medicinal? He, he said medicinal. The, the the character. Yeah, he said, oh, let me look at these medicinals. Medicinal. Okay, okay, that's what it. I don't know why the pronunciation just threw me off. Medicinals. Corruption is most undoubtedly spreading across a turn in right now. We must find a way to keep it outside our walls. I've actually had a hunch about this for some time. That yeah, the backtracking is really annoying. Immune to corruption. Perhaps something in their bodily fluids is resistant to it. Indeed, and I know how. The most foul lost in Everfall are the bile mouth at Meadow Lake Fishery. If you are willing, I would like samples of their bile. Meantime, I will consult with Alchemist Oliveira. Like a you problem. I don't know if I want to do this quest. <laughs> if it wasn't for the XP, doing it. These quests, they um, they also give you see these little as off things, and I can use this to teleport around. The only downside with that system is that I notice that if you um, if you're trying to craft, you can use those Azovs to boost. Said a word to me I guess time. I think you're supposed to be able to boost like the the quality of it or something. I don't know what it does exactly, but um, that's it's kind of like you have to choose what you want more. So it, it just kind of sucks that it costs that. I wish that teleporting would just cost gold, like normal. I don't know. Perhaps I was too harsh on the man. Yeah, yeah, it is. So. The, friend the teleporting the system is. And then also, I can't teleport wherever the hell I want. I have to be in my homeland or something. I forgot what it told me before. I was trying to teleport to another town and it said, oh, you don't have this town or something. The teleport system in this game reminds me of uh, The Witcher 3. says you helped her make me this lucky charm. That was really shitty. It does. I suppose you certainly can't. I feel like I'm finally Apier? coming out from being Ooh, under a whoa, there's like a million quests here. Cleaning up what happened at daybreak will restore okay, so. the sunlight. And XP is actually really... Weapons. Forge and deliver. Project. to tier three. Oh, so this goes like working towards your guild is that what that is so wait um work exactly governed by purple big brain tier two forging taxes is territory influence oh so i see that viking people are three percent so I think maybe once people start like the the town transitions and wants to get a new master, maybe it eventually gets to the point where you have to battle over it. That's. And I wonder if you could respect this like decisions I'm making as far as leveling up. I feel like I'm finally coming out from being under a gray cloud. 
cleaning up what on happened elk. So pretty much if I wanted to contribute to my area over here, I should probably like do stuff for my people. How does war work? Let's see. Control point. Okay, that's just PvP part. I wanted to see like how does it work as far as taking over. I'm assuming that this is guild run. This is governed by Phantom Trope. Governing company members, 70% fast travel discount. Okay. Discount for taxes. Discount on the houses. Well, let's go buy a house. I think I have enough money. I might. I think it was like $1,000 for a house or something. And we'll have to go check it out. But I have quests in this. I go quest for. I go home and get out. I can take some. Of There's a lot of little random quests I could take now. Fight against. Destroy the haunted loss. Uh, much XP. At the pressure day break, rare chest belongs to the covenant. Un elk. I'm not doing that. That. Anything that has to do with hunting, I don't even do. It's too much of a grind. Like it's it's kind of difficult when like seven hundred thousand people trying to get the same animal. You know, look at this guy. I feel like I'm interrupting him by even walking this. Xbox consoles outsold Sony ones in June. Man. I think people are starting to kind of transition, maybe. Or is it because the Xbox One is in... Or is it the Series X? Are people buying the Series X? Because isn't that out of stock, too? Like the PlayStation 5? I don't know, unless, what, people are buying Xbox. Uh, he looks like he's drunk. Anybody else is... Double Dog Gamer playing some Tarkov. Summit is still playing Final Fantasy fourteen. I don't know why. I would have thought for sure he would have quit, like, within the first couple days, but... Seems pretty dedicated now. He's getting addicted. Hey, what's up, buddy? Oh, look at him run. <laughs> He's like leaving a trail behind him. Free, I'm not a murderous asshole. I don't kill for that. Lies? Oh, my quest. Level 18. Had it just for uh, kill? I think I was that close to level.
Oh, I got some Azovs for that kill. Alright, so I get Azovs just from killing mobs now, too? New, or... Has it always been? If it's like that, then that's really good. Because then I can kind of take back the whole, like, Azov situation. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it drops off for every mob. Hi, please. All right, mission complete. Next one. Trying to get low on food. Alright, I got two quests in this area. Kill shit and search chest. Musket and hammer. Uh. Alright, so one quest complete. Now I got the other one. Kill stuff. I didn't mean to do that, but let me run to the heel. As a, this is like random. Now uh, you get it. Bitch. Mobs at. I don't know, like. Hey, 
He's running around slaughtering everything. If it moves, kill it. Rapier level 7. I leveled up. I mean, or I finished the quest. Oh! Getting ready to do that. So, quest three and five are in direction. Pretty much the way to play this game is you don't fight anything unless you have to, like, for a quest. Damn it. I'm gonna, like, strafe. Alright. So, number three says go to Daybreak, Pearl, and the Feathered Flame Medicine. The running animation makes it look like everybody's like running around with a panic. Like they're just running from place to place to mob to mob to grab the thing. Like it just looks like they're just scrambling to go grab shit. Play what he f damn it. Okay, search more chest. Kill more things. Okay, I need to go to that town. to move out of the way. Aw, messed that up. 
think he had that much range. Okay. These great cons ones, I don't even look at it. Peace. Eight limit right. I like that that has a range, the little bleed. Okay, I finished all my quest. Oh, crocodile coming. Oh shit. Oh, where are you going? Uh, that's it. <laughs> you had enough. I don't know where the fuck you came from. It's on a mission. Crocodiles are really cool. Fast travel. No, I could do. Actually, no, nah, it's fine. Run back to town. Hear a lot of faint screaming in the background. Sounds like gunshots. Oh, is this guy mining? <laughs> it's the the sound effects is so good. Even in the distance, when you're very far away, you can hear like the the echo. Of it trickling through the through the distance sounds like literally like thunder. Pretty crazy. Detail is so nice. I just wish they put that amount of detail into actual music. Like if they got some like badass composer that did like Final Fantasy music. <laughs> I don't know. Like they just needed some like, like actual fun music. Maybe like hire the guy that made a. Uh, Zelda music. Some cool like adventure themes. That's that's what I would really like to hear. Instead of this ambient sound shit. Adventure music. That get you hyped for traveling.
heard the drums coming in, so I figured I was getting attacked. Whoa, where the hell did you come? How do you want? I'm trying to get Dex up. If you hit only one target, even on a blocked hit, I really wish this game had an auto path. Then I can read the tool tips and bullshit while it auto runs. That is climbing on its own. But that option was off by default. Manically climb and vault over obstacles. Off. Well, automatically doing it anyway. Targeted healing. Maintaining target. Target lock changing camera aim. This is valid and um, by that lock target to target lock via button. Load. All right, I'm gonna see how that works for healing. That'll be better than the fucking it randomly. I heal that guy. Seems like it just wanted to keep targeting him. I see I'm almost at this I thought it meant capped as in my tokens were getting full. I'm just gonna hold on to this because then I'm going to the next here yeah Azroth do this purple gear level 50 Level six. That's the max. You see. Here. Damage. Thought it was gonna be like way higher than that. Five twenty-five. It was gonna be up in like the thousands. Or in an all-nighter no i don't think so but uh we're going to bed pretty late today because um Beyonce has to overnight shift at her job tomorrow so she definitely wants to stay up a little later just for that alone okay. 
But pretty much those Covenant missions kind of give me the vibe of like Star Citizen where you grab like the um, the call to arms quest because it's like, oh, if you're going to be doing questing, you might as well do it because it's in the same area, you know? That's pretty much the vibe I get out of it. Thank you. So you don't grab it unless you're certain that you have to do quests in that area. He doesn't have to bear all the burden anymore. I'm ready and willing to do my part. Activate Miner's Resolve. What the heck? Hunt Wolves. Good XP. Okay. That's actually really good XP. 13,000 for hunting some wolves. I can that like to. Acquired three large salmon. I think I already have salmon. Check my. Oh, I have to go back to my bank actually. I'll tell Magistrate Clark. He doesn't have to bear all the burden anymore. I'm ready and willing to do my part. Ah, uh, it goes away when you cancel it. I'll tell Magistrate Clark. He doesn't have to bear all the burden. The available soon. I'm ready and willing. On the one that comes part. back. I'll tell Magistrate Clark. All right, relax. Lady. Territory planning board. Uh, grade. Grade arcane repository, a hundred dollars. Oh, so I can help to contribute. That's interesting. So I thought that would be like a guild thing. Really interesting putting this thing. So they're trying to make it like a community game where everybody has to come together and do things. To make change. I'm very relieved to see you. These corruption breaches seem to be appearing in greater frequency. We must move quickly. Corruption is most undoubtedly spreading across Eternum right now. We must find a way to keep it outside our walls. Next. Alchemist Oliveira studied the old cut medicinals and believes we are onto something. He thinks we can use the bile you've recovered to repel or even destroy the corrupted. Right. Want to test it? Yes. An even more disgusting task than before. We soak this meat in the lost bile and... There. Now, take this and deposit it in the gruel barrels at the end Would have been better if you did an animation of actually trying to put something into a bottle, but... Okay. I'll take his word for it. That's a deposit stuff in my Hello bank. Hello there, my rambunctious friend. What news do you have? A brooch, eh? It is, uh, very pretty. But why give it to me? Uh, tequila wants you to have it. <laughs> you mean, this... I don't know what to say. I'm moved. Giving her space was what she needed. Thank you. This means the world. This means the world to me. You gave me a what? A blue piece. Strength and constitute flame. Finds on pickup, so I can't kill it. Damage, absorption, guardian. A chain. Oh, I thought that maybe I could. Sometimes good things happen only when you give up and stop forcing them to be that way. So if I salvage it, repair cards. Too bad it's not something that I want. Get rid of it. Energizing, stopping power, gain 19 stamina on a kill. If 
Vitalizing Beacon. Using Beacon increases healing power on self by 14 12 seconds. What is red? What beacon? Vitalizing Beacon. Got a light projectile that deals 106 damage. Target and heals nearby allies. Okay, the beacon sounds pretty cool. It's a long cooldown, but it looks like it does cool. Heal a target. Like embrace target recovers stamina. Heal a target. You gain one percent of your max mana for each buff your target has. When you heal, light embrace, extend the life staff buff by Battle activate. Embrace heal target. Embrace costs 20 mana. Target is low. 50% health, heal one additional ally. If the second target is below 50% health, heal another one. Right? That's very situational. After a dodge, you heal 20%. Effective. If the orb of protection hits an ally, they gain recovery for 10 seconds. Recovery heals. Okay, that sounds really good. Go with that one. I do want to test out that beacon thing though. Try it next. I like the light embrace because it has a short cooldown and it heals for a good amount. It's a nice like burst heal. Um. Oh, right. I also want. To Grit. I don't know what grit means. I'm not sure if I want to take that. If you hit only one target, even on a block hit, I kind of want to look into that. Any heavy attack on a bleeding enemy will extend the rapier's bleed by two seconds. Oh. This will also apply a future stack application of the same bleed, extend the entire stack. That sounds really good. Especially for like a dungeon and like constantly leaving the bleeds on. I do want to try another attack though. I think I want to get this show on. Bait is whack. Pose, I want to try too. Not sure which. I think I'm going to try repose. I'm going to test it out. If it sucks, I'll respec and out. Quest in the area. Let me go teleport back to the. Quest has said that I needed. I'm gonna see about selling this ammo that I.
double. And a regeneration rate. The uh, Anna does both. Boxes. Empty slot. A lot of these with empty gem slots on it. I don't know how to get a gem slot, so or the gem. So that kind of makes it useful. Is selling or not? Like people are not really buying shit, collecting feathers and stuff. See, there's never any existing orders. Like no one's like, putting an order in like Black Desert Online style. At least not yet. I'm thinking that you know when the game goes live, people are be more serious about economy stuff and trying to like get certain things for crafting right now though we don't really care that much um, 75 bucks cheap dog uh, sure oh because I have a good bow I'll just rip it apart. Or like, leave prices on. Actually, the green one available. Thirty bucks. That. A reasonable man. How goes New World? New World is pretty, pretty nice. Pretty chilling. I'm liking it. I wish it was just out already, so then I can just really dive deep into trying to max things out and just enjoying the game fully because it's honestly like playing the beta is just making me regret everything because <laughs> then I'm just going to, I'm going to sit here, you know, waiting for an entire month for this game to come out and I'm like going through withdrawals. I already picture it. I see it already. It's gonna suck waiting for this game to come out. But I'm enjoying it a lot. Like, more than I should. Drop this. Salvage that. That ice gauntlet. Rapier. Yeah, this is an upgrade. 
And it has dex and intelligence. Okay, I'll do Really care for spears yet? I, I'm gonna hold on to that just because. I like to have one of each weapon, so I can try it out and see. Like, I haven't tried the, the great axe yet. Mess around with that. Pretty. I don't really care about strength at all. If I could find like a dex intelligence, I would be all about. Let me throw these things on the quick and then. The chain? Background. No order. Seems like there's a lot of people putting things up for sale. I'm just gonna leave the ammo here. If I ever want to use a gun, I'll just come back and... Alright, so... That's it, that's all my shit. Let me go... Do these quests over here. So let me grab some. Uh, well, I need to go to the Covenant, grab some quests from that, and then also I want to see about doing like the the town quest. Where did I grab that? Arcane Repository, Territory Plan Board, Town Projects. That's what I want to. There's the town projects, and then there's also the, the faction quests that you can do as repeatables, and they seem like they give good XP and stuff. That. Check out. Lifestyles. Cooking. Samples. See, they give good XP. 1500 XP for the needs. 10 ration. Which, I have a quest right now where I'm supposed to get that. Craft that, but I just... Like, the, the camping site. I, actually, I gotta check to see. I think I might have it now. Explore and find... Search fellows. Alright, let's grab that. Forging, I don't want to do crafting. Or 10 feathers. Oh, psh, I got like a thousand feathers in the bank. Complete. See? Instant quest complete. For fastener. Quest down here. Armor smithing, cooking. Need some more rations. Take it. Oh, no, I already have that quest. Alright, so I have two quests for the energizing rations. I need to make 25 of them. Then the firm fish fillet. I don't think I want to do that, honestly. I don't want to do the armor smith. Oh, hunt turkeys. That's cool. Like, it re-rolls it, and then you can just do something else. So if you don't like that quest, you can grab a different one. Pretty nice. That one... Us out here. Grab a covenant. The light of the covenant shines within you. Right. So. Bridge, ancient guardian. Easy quest. I like a lot of quests. 
go check out five and Syndicate. It's pretty cool, and then you can upgrade the XP gain and get it to the point where it um, rewards you more and more and more. I just wonder if that percentage actually counts towards the XP of the mission, like West XP. Oh. Oh, it looks like it changed. Controlled by the Covenant. I guess there was a war that was going on already. Damn, I would have liked to join that. I didn't know that how to see when a war is going to happen. Alright, so... Search chest. Okay. Um, I want to test out that new ability I got. Mobs are too easy, so I don't know if this is gonna work out. Test out my abilities. Ah, I messed it up. Oh, that's it. Wait. Oh, I forgot about the camp. Let me see if I can make one. Tier 2? Oh, it is tier 2. Hey, there it is. Oh, I don't have wood and flint. I need... Wood. Except from the... to make this energizing thing him salmon that's it that's i can fuck that's kind of difficult what kind of meat wolves bears cows sheep anything I have to do things so whenever I see the uh. 
Come on, hit me. And I test out that parry thing, but you have to time it perfectly. Alright, let me try it with this one. Oh, there it is. Nice. Okay. It's not very good, though. Like, just because the t you have to time it so perfect. I think I'm just going to respawn. If I can do that real quick. I want to try this. Lead on Q. Change. Let me test out this one. This one looks more fun. A lunge attack. <laughs> the guy like pulling his weapon out and putting him away. Okay, so search chest. Chest. So many people with the rapier. Like, it's like flavor of the month right now. is really cool why everybody's using it Shit. boy bodies Next, wait the hell down here. Right, let's go. 
see if there's a shortcut. Maybe I can jump over a mountain. Thing. Cut through here. Only I had a horse. Much faster. Still following me? Kidding? Ow. Gunshot sounds like real as hell. Sound like it was literally in the house. Boy, bodies, how you doing? Oh, nice, that healing over time thing is good. Oh, kill you, hold on. Like, I want to look at things, but, like, sometimes my dude, like, literally just stands there. Well, especially when you open up your screen. About to level up. Sorry, buddy. keep going around this map.
mission. Adi. Bless him. Fuck. Area, I think. I'm gonna keep track of all. This. All right, defeat guardians. Bam. How does it work? Oh, kind of worked like the the healing. Oh, I see. Right, I think the lock on target thing is actually better. Now that I've gotten used to it. I like the cone attack of this. Like literally if you line them up and hit both of them at the same time, it works really well. Ancient guard. King. One for me. And. Oh, I'm wrong here. Fast travel point. Did I fast travel there? I have to be in a town in order.
this area is where mobs I'm oh here we go. give you style points and give you more XP for it. Style point. Oh, let me fix the bling. Combat going on. Head over to. across that bridge. This one, I have to chest. fucking farming. I 
believe I survive all that crazy shit. I gotta get out of here. Alright, go, 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 go. Oh. Following me. God, my shoulders started hurting in real life after all that shit. Shoulder pains. mobs in this area. Buster. Right. Can we open Look at that shit. There's like 700 mobs chasing that guy over there in the distance. Even joking. Grab this. Throwing up on. They're everywhere. Infestation. Infestation. Stop already. I'm trying to figure out how to get into this goddamn. Thing. Dropping a lot of loot out here. Fucking so. Fire staff. 
finding really good loot in this town. I guess that's the reward for fighting 700,000 miles of death. What the fuck is that? Of a tear to another universe? Another staff. Um, gas loot out here. Non stop. Odd. Grab the supply cache. Right, am I done? Yeah, I want to get the hell out of here. Gotta get squashed from this area. What do you want? Holy shit. <laughs> no, we're running. We'll do two. We'll hit one. Curious, why does the, the restaurant do overnight shifts? Or late night? Yeah, especially with Uber, they do. Take a while. Not going to skin it? I will. Okay. Three of them. See, these squin uh, skinning quests are the ones that are difficult because, like every man for themselves, you gotta run for it, in it as fast as possible.
Yeah, these getting closer never work. It is, you know, just constantly running around trying to find a thing. Like, not worth it. I want to spend in. Read to this one. Build available. Log out now to verify your are on Steam build. Shit. The game keeps running even though they put a new update? Nice. Get this shit set up like uh, Guild Wars. I log out, I'm logging out for good. Morning. Harvest squash. I think I see squash over there. Aw, poor turkey sound. Gobbled at me. So this is probably going to be really difficult. Is the game going to kick me out? It's telling me that the, the build is available. Uh, Juking crazy shit. Oh, oh, he hits fucking hard. Come on. 
My God. Battlefield still day one. Oh yeah, definitely. Shit. Yeah, that's definitely day one. Killed two more, and I need to find. Damn, I have to just. Oh, God. hit really hard so I'm trying not to get hit. Oh I sold something on the auction house. I really need to just look it. Oh here's the jam. Grab it. I can find something. Are you gonna get Halo? Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna get into Halo Infinite. And then, um, Scent? I don't know what a Scent is. But Psychonauts 2, I definitely wanna play. I never played the first Psychonauts, so, um, I have it installed. I just haven't played it. Oh, motherfucker interrupted. Okay, kills are done. Just need to find jam. Goose chase trying to find this. It's a small little town, so and it has to be found. Like a sneak past them or something. I don't know if it works like that. <laughs> Let's see. Do some Metal Gear Solid. Oh no, Metal Gear Solid is not working. <laughs> To hide in a box like Metal Gear Solid. Oh shit, there's some jam, I see it. Damn, I can't fight two at the same. Hard for me. Peace. <laughs> oh shit. Stop chasing me. Just reset. Dead, you bastard. Grab some jam. Get the hell out. Grab the jam. Oh. 
Grab the jam. Oh, grab the jam. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. It resets the cooldown. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to juke it out. It, it doesn't work. Oh my god. Why can't you just grab the jam and run? The crazy animation trying to like fiddle through. Sh Reset, please. I don't want to fight you. Go, go back home. Go back home. Go. Home is that way. No, home is over there. Go. There you go. Christ. Any 2022 games really looking forward to? Not on the radar. I, I really haven't been looking at too many games. Whatever's on the Game Pass I play and... Metal Gear Solid this. Son of a bitch. Alright, let me kill him. Hopefully. Oh, too slick. Come on, over here. There we go. Can I like PvP the mob? Get a goodbye. There we go. Let's get the damn jar. Need two more. Best. It's too bad I can't like hide. You no, know? like there's no stealth game. Be like this would work really well if it actually worked. Ah, he saw me. And, all right, let me. I'm gonna run around and I'm gonna see if I can find a jar. Oh, another jar right there. Gosh. Head, please. I think I have to run out of range. <sighs> yeah, I don't really know what games, what other games I've been looking for. Like, Battlefield 2042 is really what I'm looking forward to. That's the next game I'm going to buy. And after that, like, I can't think of a single game. Most are gonna be Xbox Game Passes and pretty much. I'm gonna be hardcore on this game. So my channel is just gonna be renamed the world. Oh nice, this guy likes to hear everybody. Come on. It Yeah. I need one more. Ah, oh, it's right there. No, you don't see me. Damn it, son of a... Grab this real quick. Ah! <laughs> Damn. Reset. Go. Please. And. Do you recommend Warframe? Oh, hell yeah, I do. Never tried. I was thinking about. Yeah, I really do recommend it. It's a good game too much content in that game. I beat the shit out of Warframe. Like, I haven't played it in years, but every time I log in, I feel like I already did everything. So, like, this... I, I super beat that game. They got this new update that's gonna be coming out that's, like, uh, some kind of, like, story mode thing. You play as, like, enemies and stuff. I don't know, it's weird. It looks pretty decent. I, I might jump back just to see what it's like. 
And even to this day, the graphics hold up. Like, uh, Warframe still looks really awesome, graphic-wise. Let me go turn this in, and I'm gonna go hit that too. Oh, I got less to turn in over here. Oh, four of them. Alright, so I think we're gonna do a run real quick. I'm gonna go to the settlement, and then I'm gonna teleport back. I think my fast travel, yep, fast travel is ready. Gotta strategize. So. Into their territory again. Uh, some games of 2022. Got a war, Ragnarok. Okay, yeah, that's that's a that's a day one buy. Possibly Mass Effect 4, Final Fantasy 6. Or Spoken sounds really good, actually. Was looking at that. And then that new, um, that new game from Pearl Abyss, a single player Black Desert Online or something. That one looks pretty decent too. How that's gonna be, but it looks nice so far. Again, the ghost of lost causes returns. And what have they discovered now? What? Fable probably is not gonna be for a while. I don't expect that next year. I wasn't there. Starfield, not most the likely. Wardens. Yeah. Not when Doom closed but I don't think Starfield is going to be a day one buy for me. Bethesda, Bethesda really needs to prove themselves. I, I remember faces. I don't think I care for this. Remembering things that want to stay everywhere. All <laughs> over Aeternum. Or was it under? I'm done listening to this guy. He's he's literally like talking to like a homeless guy at the bus stop, and you have no choice because you're waiting for the bus, and the bus is gonna take like 30 minutes. He's just talking about random shit like that. That's literally this this con this contact I just spoke to right now. All right, over here. Right, I'm gonna set auto path. <laughs> Wish. Set auto path and whatever the hell I want. We'll play another game while it auto paths. House ownership. You can own a house. Oh shit, let's go get a house. I'm gonna go back to town and go see. I don't know how much money I have. Enough. Oh yeah, Star yeah, Starfield is gonna be on Game Pass. Right, right, right. Three games. Free for fifteen dollars a month. Well actually I think it's not fifteen. It probably will get there. Pretty much the norm. Fifteen dollars a month is like the normal. Monthly subscription type deal. Sorry, buddy. For AOE farming, huh? My cooldowns go uh, go off a cooldown like immediately when I hit like multiple targets. Build is actually pretty cool. Like AOEing is actually better than targeting. X 
XYYC to B9. How you doing? Well, Elden Ring. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna play that. I don't know anything about it, and I'm just gonna stay oblivious to it, I guess, until it actually releases, and then I'm jump in it. Apparently, it's an open world game, so that should be pretty cool. World Dark Souls. They already kind of experimented with that, with that, uh, what's it called Sekiro or something. What the but I never beat that game. It would be hardcore. It probably wasn't as bad as Blood, uh, Bloodborne, though. Bloodborne was insane. Last time I tried Bloodborne, pfft, I didn't even get past like the first boss. Like that shit was. Well, first major boss. A big one on, on the bridge. Piles of food, friend. You got everything on the list. I don't know if you're in it for a good meal or a rich reward, but you deserve it both. That's for sure. Now that is so that's the trick. Harvest from the withered farms. That's a hot tip. This will really help us out. Still talking in the background. <laughs> Guy talking to him. I see the light is still with you. Okay. So I have a thousand points. I'm about to hit Templar pretty soon. Oh, am I temple? Station, 35 new items. There. Items. Oh, maybe I haven't got there yet. I think I hit 3,000. Oh, I did. 3,000 exactly. How does that work to be upgraded to the next tier? I see the light is still with you. I have to buy something. Almost capped on the as off. I just realized I was been getting a lot of them over here. Area. Go back to my main town. I don't know if I have to speak to somebody there or I'll be right back a second.
Okay, so... No, I haven't been doing that that much. Not the soda, at least. Oh, you beat Bloodborne? Yeah, it's a... It's definitely a really rough game. Like, even in the beginning, like, it was struggling. Arc 2 is coming. Oh, right. With Vin Diesel. <laughs> I remember they had that trailer. I was, I was like, what the hell is Vin Diesel doing in a arc game? I thought it was just an expansion. Actual sequel. I mean, the first game had, like, too many problems. At least for, like, running it on computer. Like, I remember struggling with that game. Even the consoles couldn't handle that game. The game was kind of... Advance for his time, I guess. Here in Monarch's Bluffs than I had imagined. We're now apparently pursuing new alliances. I hope this is Eloise has her sights on the blood heart. Probably gonna level. I'm like a literally a bar to level. Oh my goodness, look at this. There it a is. Ruda jam. As you know, I had anticipated selling. You should know. Indeed, indeed, with your indeed, 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 indeed. no one to trifle with. You'd best prepare oh, if you would go to Dead Man's Cove by yourself. Boots at all. I'm already the far in. Madman Montore is no one to trifle with. You'd best prepare if you would go to Deadman's Cove by yourself. This upgrade forged. I guess we have enough. But I mean, I can use. Like, does it contribute to everybody? Oh, right. I was... Oh, it's going to take 20 hours. Pretty cool. Everybody can contribute to... Montore is no one to trifle with. You'd best prepare if you would go to Dead Man's Cove by yourself. Project. So these quests underneath this, those towards great gates that kind of like I'll just bam these quests, and everybody that that does it is contributing to getting a tier two eight. That's really cool. I like that. At least it makes it feel like the stuff you do actually contributes to the whole game. Looking forward to seeing what this is going to look like when <clears throat> when uh, the game is live and everybody's been playing for like six months. Seeing like how everything is, it's probably gonna be very one-sided. I, I picture like whatever the the most popular faction is, probably like either the Vikings or the, the assassin people. The probably will end up being like running everything. Full game. The light of the covenant shines within you. The light of the covenant shines within you. Session five minutes. Get it. Yeah. 
the light of the covenant shines within you. Resist. Resist. Fired. The light For end of the game. covenant shines within you. So how do I get this reputation is capped at three thousand, so I'm already over cap, like how do I Templar? Oh, is it because I have to be a certain level? Is that what it is? Level requirement twenty five. Alright, Surge. Have a good night. I'll be back in the morning. Play more. Likely gonna get out of here and... About this, though. I saw it before. I don't remember how. Shines within you. Oh, right. That's okay. I think it's in here. Oh, here it is. View leveling. Here. Amp tier. Anything about. Right wood. The light of the covenant shines within you. Refuge. Alright, we're gonna have to look. <laughs> three hundred repu okay, three thousand reputation. Rep tier. Look in your log, there will be a minute to advance your faction standing. At each tier, you need to go and run a birth mission. Faction before. That's. There it is, Templar Advancement. Okay, it wasn't. Alright, I gotta go do that. That mission. Travel to Brightwood. Complete the trial of the Templar. It's like two quests here. One five three. Right wood, here it is.
say. Okay, so I think I'm going to get my ass out of here. Thanks for watching. And yeah, I should be back tomorrow. Play some more. And um, try to go to Brightwood. All right. <laughs> Have a good night, y'all.